So you've just finished building an awesome electronics project. Now you need to find a housing for it. You could just use a cheap plastic box that you bought at a store, but why not make your own custom project enclosure? They're easy to build, and you can make it to fit exactly what you need. The first thing that you need to figure out is how big the project enclosure should be. Start by measuring all the components that will go inside. Then add a little more space for the wires and connectors. Be sure to leave enough room to attach any components that will mount to the outside of the housing. All this will give you an idea as to how big to make the inside of the box. Next you need to decide how the walls will be connected. I chose to use simple box joints. You can now work out how big each side needs to be and how to space the joints. You can do this with a simple sheet of graph paper. Because the pieces were so small, I used a scroll saw to cut them out. A fine tooth hand saw can also work. Now that you have all the pieces cut out, you're ready to start assembling the enclosure. Apply a thin layer of wood glue to all the connecting surfaces between the bottom and side pieces. The top piece doesn't get any glue because we want that to be removable. Then assemble the box and clamp the sides together. Smooth out any glue around the seams and fill in any cracks that you see. Then allow the enclosure to sit until the glue is fully cured. At this point the enclosure still looks a little rough, so give the whole box a good sanding. The last step is to add screws that will hold the lid in place. First, find some small wood screws. Then using a drill bit that's a little smaller than the screws, drill a pilot hole in each corner. Lastly, I countersunk each hole so that the screws would sit flush with the top of the lid. Now your custom project enclosure is complete. This is a great way to make housings for all of your electronics projects, or anything else. Thanks for watching, and check back next week for more DIY hacks and how-tos.